In this video, we're going to tie up some loose ends when it comes to macros. So we know that macro variables are saved as strings, so they can't necessarily be computed in the um, in the macro compiler. They can be resolved, but not computed. But there's a way of getting around that, as we'll see. So let's just do some little examples. I'm going to create a macro variable called five star star two, and if I put that to the log, let's see what we get. Well, we get exactly what we expect, right? As we've seen in previous videos, ampersand var will resolve to this string, five star star two. And most of the time, that's exactly what we want. But if we did want it to compute, let's see how we do this. So eval ampersand var, percentage eval is the function we need. So if I submit that code, it gives us 25, which is exactly what we expect. Do one very, more, very small example with that. So if I create a new variable, which is nine divided by two, and I do want it to compute, well, I'll just assume the same uh, thing will work again. Obviously, because I'm doing this, it, it won't, but let's just try and figure out what, what happens. It resolves to 4. Okay, and now that's the integer part of 9 over 2, and that's because the percentage eval function returns um, returns answers in the integer parts, in the integer uh, domain. But there's a way around that. Sys evalf is the function that we need. Percentage var. And if I now run that, we do get 4.5. So there's a huge amount of these types of functions, and we're not going to go into all of them. If you just want to Google what you want to do with your macro variable, you should more or less find it. But let's take one quick look at another type of variable, and that's a string. So that my var equal abc. So I'm creating a new macro variable called my var that should resolve to ABC. Now let's say I wanted to put to the log a little sentence. This string is some punctuation for good measure, ampersand, my var. So let's compile that. And we have an error. Okay? It doesn't write a nice sentence because that semicolon is a SAS keyword, right? It recognized that as code. But again, there's a way around that. If we just use the function percent str, so for, for string, this string is ampersand my var. Um, close the semicolon. Let's see what happens. This string is semicolon abc. There's one last variation of this that I want to show. Percentage put percentage nr str. This string is semicolon ampersand my var percentage let. I'm showing the percentage let in just to, to get the point across. So if I compute that, we see that nrstr basically says ignore everything. These two lines here are very, very insightful. These four lines here are very insightful. Whilst percentage str resolve ampersand my var, percentage nrstr basically doesn't resolve anything, it computes everything as a string. So that can be very useful. Um, that's all I'm going to go over in this video. When it comes to debugging macros, it might be worth reading up on um, these statements. My print, uh, sorry, mprint, m logic, oh, sorry, spelled it wrong, m logic and symbol gen. But I'm not going to go over that in this video. Take a look at those if you need anything more.